Yo, what is going on, everybody? We are playing some Zed in the mid lane again because, I don't know, he's my favorite champion, so I just like making videos about him. Um, a little bit of just a video on Zed here about, you know, how he's in the current meta. Uh, not particularly strong. Um, I don't... He used to have a lot of build diversity uh, in terms of like runes and builds that you could do. Um, I think that's kind of, you know, gone from the wayside right now uh, for the most part. I think Electrocute is kind of back to the stock standard strongest kind of rune page for him. First Strike used to be really good, but they kind of nerfed it. Um, what else? Conquer was pretty good, but, uh, you know, I think it is still good in like some matchups, but... Uh, He's going to look for a trade there. Um, but yeah, so we're into a Teemo. Nice, getting three for three. I really like it. Um, he's missing. He's probably just going invis. We are not, not trying to do anything too crazy. Uh, we went first strike, taste of blood, uh, eyeball collection uh, with ultimate hunter. So it's like pretty standard. It's been his standard for like a very, very long time. Uh, this Teemo doesn't look like he's trading too hard with us. I feel like he should be playing more aggressive, but it's all right. We're able to get that with the E. We're taking a little bit of damage, but we haven't took in the... Oh. Missed that guy. We haven't taken... Uh... Oh, I was hoping he would turn into that, thinking I would go for it. Oh, shit. Wow. We haven't taken the uh, press the attack damage yet. Oh, wow. Really? Okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah. So uh, we have the Transcendence and the Scorch. Uh, so these are very strong laning runes uh, because the auto there. Very nice. Uh, because the Scorch does a little bit of damage over time. It's just like a little bit of burn damage. Uh, we are going to get that. Right there, he kind of backed off. You can see the kind of like burn there. Uh, okay, we're going to see if we can... Wow, okay. We are got with the blind there. That's fine. And we're taking a little bit more damage. That's fine. A little bit low on energy. Uh, Teemo's pretty strong early. So we are just gonna... Yep, there we go. Auto Q. It's always good for him. And that's fine. We're doing all right. We have a Stylus Jungle. Uh, not the greatest. Nice. Got the Electrocute proc. Very, very, very nice. Looks like he's hanging out there. We're gonna get another E there. Uh, we're going to back off. This is going to look for us right there. Oh, wow. Okay. Q's not doing too much damage. I think he's putting points into his E, which is his poison. Uh, we saw Mordekaiser over there, uh, so we know where he is. We're still looking okay. We've got another health pot. Um, we get a Electrocute proc here, which we do. And he's dead. So very foolish uh, for the Teemo. Looks like he went Ignite, so it's fine. He's going to be back here in a second. We're going to try to shove the wave out. Should be okay. And we miss Cannon, so GG's report me. It's fine. Okay. Uh, looks like we're actually not even going to get the wave in because we are giga trolling right now, but should be okay. Uh, most of the minions are going down. Teemo's not going to be able to tank... Uh, the damage there. There we go. We can just leave that guy right there. It's totally fine. Uh, so yeah, he's not going to be able to pull a freeze. Should be fine. So yeah, so when we W'd back, um, I'm you know just going to assume that his reflexes are not fast enough to get a Q blind on us fast enough. We're going to get a uh, serrated dirk, some boots, and a uh, refillable pod. But yeah, so like I said, his reflexes aren't going to be fast enough. So he was in range for auto attack, got contempt for the week, and we also got our ignite on him so looking pretty strong here um he of course does have uh being a ranged champion he has a little bit of advantage in early so that's why we were kind of taking it easy uh so we managed to hit all those we're gonna get this guy uh, we're gonna get that guy we're also gonna get this guy too very nice we got our ultimate ability he's gonna be a little scared we still have enough damage to 100 to zero him uh so we need to poke him down a little bit uh, again we're looking for electrocute procs which is our WE right there. Uh, we don't want to waste abilities on uh, something that's not going to really get us uh, damage. So if I can hit a Q there, that would have been good. But obviously we, we didn't hit it. So always good to hold your abilities in this particular kind of situation. 
I just like in League in general. I'm just waiting for this guy to go down. I'm gonna auto him. Very good. Very good. Okay, we kind of backed off. We should have hit that minion, but that's okay. Oh, uh, we missed that again. And uh, there we go. Very nice. So we got Silas up over there. We don't know. Is that Mordekaiser down? Yeah, Mord. Ooh, what? Okay, he's 100% dead here. Nice. Easy money. Uh, I feel like we should walk over here. I feel like we kill Lulu easy, right? Maybe not. If our W is up, we could definitely make a play. Uh, but, uh, yeah, not, not that great. 18 seconds on our Ignite. Um, as said, you don't really want to help. Um, like, you obviously want to help, but, like, not by hitting the dragon. It's not too important. Also, we don't want to miss a wave, because we don't want to give Teemo anything. Plus, they have advantage, uh, with the bot lane there. Um, to take the dragon. Uh, it's like they didn't really do anything. I was too busy, kind of, looking off into Narnia, which is a little bit troll. Uh, Timo is, of course, missing. He could be invisible. Yep, there he is. Gonna get that bonus attack speed. Uh, we have to be very careful with Timo uh, because there are most likely shrooms around here, uh, which we don't want to hit, and we don't want to take extra damage for no reason. So, looks like he's putting uh, a lot of shrooms in the lane, as he should be. We want to walk where our minions are gonna be, uh, for sure. This is definitely how Timo wants to play it. Uh, we want to chunk him down again a little bit. Uh, we could even maybe go for a reset here. Uh, as you can see, he's pretty fast. We put a point in our W. We have 1,300 gold. I'm able to get our Caulfield's Hammer. Uh, judging from the team composition, uh, Merc Treads actually might be really good here. Um, and we're going to get that Sweeper for sure. Uh, so Merc Treads because Teemo does, you know, good damage. Kogma has slows. He also does AP damage. Lulu has Polymorph as well as slows with picks. Uh, Mordekaiser does AP damage. They're only uh, AD essential uh, is going to be Fiora, but she's really far behind. Also, we're not going to be looking to fight her too much. Massive. We like that. We're going to miss this guy, unfortunately. Uh, again, we don't know where the... Okay, there he is. So we do have a lot more damage now. Uh, he's looking like he just has a boots, a health pot, so... Very nice. Yep. So we're just going to E him. And we're just going to walk back there. Easy money. Obviously, we did step in another shroom. Very good. So as you can see, even though Teemo basically... What did he do? He did like two autos. I stepped on a shroom. And, you know, that was it. Um, again, we took a lot of damage. So, um, you know, you still have to be very careful even though you are pretty far ahead there. Uh, we don't know where Mord is. This is a little risky, but we're still going to go for getting that plate here. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of sweep. Yep, there he is. A W away. Um, very nice. So I'm just backing off. I don't know what Silas looks like. He wants to fight him. Yeah, this is risky. Okay. Timo doesn't know I'm here. Yep. He flashed. We don't want to get to press the attack. Q. We don't have anything else for that, unfortunately. And he's double buffed, so... If we get autoed one time, we die. Yeah. So we got our Hubris, which is really nice. Unfortunately, we don't have enough to uh, keep going there. So you W back. W starts going on cooldown the moment you cast it, so we can head back there. You can see Teemo is lining up the lane over here as uh, what he should be, so we should be expecting to step on some shrooms, uh, which is essentially what we don't want. But uh, yeah, so he's hanging out there. We have our ultimate back, which is great. Uh, we should be able to 100 zero him, depending if he sticks around. We don't really want to miss the minions here. I'm gonna E, auto. And I don't think he's gonna stick around. We'll see, we're just gonna shove the wave here, maybe look for a rotation. Okay, he's missing. So, shroom, shroom, shrooms. Pretty standard. Looks like he backed. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything bot side. 
They're both full HP. Uh, we know there's shrooms on the other side. Uh, looks like Lulu is down there. So we can potentially get another electrocute proc there, which is fantastic. Looks like he's going to walk over here. He's going to spread his lovely little shroom boys there. No problem. Uh, we almost have enough to hunter to zero him. Uh, he is missing. We don't know where he went. We don't want to walk into, again, more shrooms. Uh, there's no objective up right now, so... And I don't know where Mord is, so it, it, pretty risky, right? He's obviously baiting. This is a very standard Teemo tactic. Able to get that really nice. Okay, he didn't even get his Presti attack on us, uh, which is fantastic. Um, he does have double buffs, which is absolutely just not great. But again, uh, let's see what he's got there. He's got Sork Boots, so he's looking for that magic penetration. Double Q, fantastic. Silas should be able to clean that up, uh, unfortunately. Oh, wow, really nice. Very nice. Now, the reason why we ulted right there is because if uh, he got enough autos there, um, it would have killed us, and our autos are pretty slow. Again, with the Mordekaiser. I am very dead. Yeah, there's nothing I can do there. Um... Good, well played on his part. We are going to get the Merc Treads. And... I like Axiomark here. We're going we're gonna to do that. Big alt damage all the time. So... See, there's more coming. Looking at our map here. We know he doesn't have R. I'm just going to walk back. So normally CDR boots are best, but depending on the team composition. Um, Teemo is also super annoying. Like if you go CDR boots and, you know, even T if Teemo isn't fed, which he's not, um, it's going to be really tricky. Uh, this kind of sucks because he gets 200 bonus HP from uh, this, uh, which is not uh, great. Okay, he's missing. There it is. Okay, want to use that sweeper. Look at this. Okay. He's gonna die. Yep. Well played. Um, you know, good rotation. It was pretty troll of him to do that. So now we're able to punish him by uh, that really bad roam. We are going to get another point in our ultimate. Auto and auto. 13 minutes, so we know there's still plates up. You can see Mord coming down. Mord's 3 and 2 with Rylize. Uh, it looks like he's going to make a play for that. That's okay. Uh, Ocean Drake's not a big deal. Um, sometimes you concede this stuff. Teemo should be coming back, but we don't have a cannon wave. Uh, and they're preoccupied with Dragon. So what we're going to do is we're going to dump the wave right into him. There it is. Perfect. It's like Ornn is smurfing on the Fiora, which is so weird to see, but, uh, you know, maybe he's just learning Fiora. Who knows? Okay, Caulfield's Hammer. Very nice. Gonna go back. We got that uh, CDR because it gives you plus 10 ability haste, which is very nice. Uh, Teemo still doesn't have his full item, which is great. So, and we also have Merc Tread, so we're a little more defensive. Again, he's putting the Shrooms back in the same spot, so we know what to expect with him. We also have Ignite. We have Flash in 9 seconds. We can definitely look for a kill. Uh, looks like he's pretty scared, which is great. Yep. I'm just gonna play it nice and slow. We have a good CS lead on him. Gonna e that and then q uh the reason why we don't want to walk forward here is because we don't want to step on the shrooms and take unnecessary damage now uh we do see this see if we can get a little trade here looks like he doesn't want to trade that's fine looks like he's just baiting us so okay we're gonna get these minions and we are actually gonna go get this blue buff right here we're gonna use our sweeper because we don't know what he took uh blue buff on zed is really nice because it does give you cdr uh, I think it's like 10 or 15 ability haste, but more importantly, it gives you really good energy regeneration. So you're able to spam your abilities a lot faster uh, without running into any problems there. Okay, that's fantastic. We love that trade. Now, normally, obviously, that doesn't hurt as much as it should because, you know, the Leandri's item does give you 200 bonus health. Um, that. Oh, there we go. We got our W back. Well, we're going to wait for any shrooms. Yep, see? Look at that. Look at that, we got the electrocute proc, that's fantastic. 
Uh, if we land all of our Shiryukens, we can definitely kill him, but we don't know what he's going to be doing. So he's most likely just going to be waiting under tower. We might be able to get a WEQ combo. And... Let's see. Again, we don't know where Mord is right now. We're going to use our health bot. Teemo just might actually be there. The nice thing, although you can't get your contempt for the week on... Yeah, see, this is going to happen. I don't... I think we get out for sure, 100%. So yeah, he was waiting pretty hard for that. That's okay. Look at that. And Lulu was there. So even if we went on him, uh, we wouldn't have been able to kind of really do anything. And that's totally fine. Uh, we're able to get a pickaxe, which is really nice. We're going to wait here for a second. We're going to see what they do. We're going to use this right here. Yep. If they want aura, we Very nice. Give it. Yeah, it's always tough. I mean, you know, because, um, you know, Teemo mid is not very strong, but it's definitely annoying. So, um, let's just wait here. Yep. Okay. An enemy has been slain. So, uh, bot lane super smart. Uh, they won bot lane, which is very nice. Uh, they said Zed side lane, which is super important. That's what you should be doing at this point. They took their tower. Our tower is very close. You don't have to like greed for anything like that. We know that we're stronger than their bot lane. We're stronger than their mid lane. Um, so going to the side lane is a really smart play for us. Um, we want to collect this solo farm. Uh, the reason why bot lane wants to be there is so they can rotate on top side or bot side objectives as they have more man advantage. So it's always smart to do that. Uh, plus, so they uh, freeze up their support to roam top or bot while the AD carry can kind of free farm. That's generally what the uh, preferred macro is. And that's generally how you should kind of play the game if you're in an ADC position. Now, them just kind of leaving the lane like that and giving up tower is obviously not very good, but it happens. So we don't have eyes on Mordekaiser. We, oh, there he is. We can assume he's topside. Now we see Teemo here. He's going to have his Leandres, which he does. We check tab there. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. We've got him with the Ignite, which is fantastic. So super close there. Um... So glad there wasn't a shroom there because that actually would have killed us. We don't know where else he placed shrooms, so we're actually just not going to risk the biscuit. And it looks like we do have our item. Throw a W out there. There it is. Press W again. And out. See six, 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 six seconds. Um, close on a ten second cooldown because we left it up there. So really nice for us. Uh, we're going to walk through mid lane up here because they're pressuring. And the wave was pushed in. Want to walk through here. Very nice. Looks like they have smart wards. Unable to get it to play here. That's okay. This is a little risky because uh, we know we're top. Oh, there's the mid laner. Now we know Mord's around there, although we have two levels on the Teemo. It's still risky, right? There it is. We're gonna W over there. Might have to flash here in a second. I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, no, we're just dead. Just, there we go, that's unfortunate. So Cogma rotated. Uh, they saw that I was fighting Teemo and they just came down for a little uh, free W for them. Not too much to do there. Again, Mordekaiser was hovering. I kind of greeted and wanted to kill him, which was fine. But uh, unfortunately, I, I misplayed. I should have been able to have my W backwards or done something with there. That's all right. It happens. So I honestly think like a Maw, like a Maw would be really good here. Uh, just even help the damage even more so. Is that super unfortunate? Uh, Mordekaiser, I don't understand how he wasn't too far ahead, but it looks like... Something happened with that, and we don't like that. Uh, Kogma Lulu, pretty tough. Looks like they're making a little comeback here. Uh, Lucian's strong early, but Kogma Lulu scales super hard. Uh, looks like... And this is sometimes kind of a disadvantage. See, what happens is when you switch you know, into a side lane, sometimes bot lane decides to, you know, feed. <laughs> or I should feed. Give up their lead, right? So they should be pressuring. They're not really doing anything. They're not around. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna shove the wave. We're gonna be a little greedy here because we are very fed. There we go. I'm gonna push that wave out. They're gonna go for bot lane. We're gonna come down here. We do have our ultimate ability, which is really nice. Um, it's it's also tough too because if if you take a look at like the state, like you know we really didn't get any ganks and we we're getting harassed by Mordekaiser a decent amount. Um, you know we don't really seem to be having any support. Uh, you know in the game despite our you know being fed. Um, you know and you can say like oh like Lulu like uh, you know. Lucian is, is fed, yeah, but, you know, I have three levels on him, right? And more farm. And technically a better KDA. Um, because although you might think, like, oh my god, he has seven kills, but he also died five times. So he gave up a lot of gold and experience uh, for that. So dying is actually, you know, really bad. Like, 100%. Uh, we're not able to hit that. Um, this Fiora is not very strong. She's pretty weak, but we don't have eyes on our jungle's top, and there's three mid, so we're actually super good. We'll get a Q there. Uh, we do have our Ignite, so we can negate some of her healing, but it is a Fiora. I'm going to assume that she is not very strong. She does have Trinity Force, though. We are still going to see if we can ignite her. We got her Qs up. So we should get her. Really? Okay, I, I guess... Oh, so when I pressed R, on, I don't really... I, don't, I haven't played against Fiora, so I don't really know how the interaction works with Zed. But, so I guess she canceled... She parried the R, so I guess that's how it worked. We didn't get hit by the parry, so we didn't get stunned. But it looks like it actually just canceled the damage. Um, no, that, that's fine. Timo's top. We don't know where bot lane is. Uh, looks like they have a ward there. It's all good. 27 seconds. Lucian's coming down. Fiora's there. She came back with full HP. Um, there's like three there. Looks like Mord's gonna come down here. I don't think I can take this by the time. Oh, it's crazy how he has a level up. I'm just gonna stop leashing that for him because I actually can't fight him, unfortunately. Because um, he can just press R. And that is tricky, again, you know, with her... Uh, you know, with her abilities, right? So you just keep autoing the side lane. And it's it's super troll for, like, Orn to be doing this right now because, uh, you know, Orn should be picking up a side lane and, you know, TPing to plays. But unfortunately, um, he is just not doing that. Look at that. Cogma's coming down with the Lulu. Looks that Teemo's over there. Just gonna keep pathing away. Uh, took a little bit of damage, but it's not too big of a deal. Looks like they're pressuring mid. That's fine. I'm probably gonna have to keep up this tower. Uh, I don't want to burn W here because they might just end up taking the tower super fast. We can burn W here and we can thin the wave a little bit. And that's really all we want to do. We're going to get another E off. Uh, unfortunately, it is a cannon wave. Um, so, yeah, that kind of sucks, to be honest. Okay, that was a really weird R, but that's okay. Okay, we're able to get that. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything else. Uh, bot lane's rotating, but, uh, you know, they're not... Uh, it's not really going to be getting us anything out of that. Uh, there's Lulu. Nice. Able to get that. Um, we know sensing me... You know, the reason why we kind of went for that is, again, because, you know, Lulu did use her polymorph. And we were able to get on Fiora, which is backed up. And she used her parry, and her parry is on a super long cooldown. So again, we were able to uh, secure the kill. 2v1ing a Kog'Maw Lulu is going to be very tr tricky, so you always got to be careful about that. It looks like Mordekaiser, he's level 15. I got to level up on him finally. Uh, but it looks like he's side laning right now, and it just looks like like nobody really wants to do anything about it, which super sucks. Like I know, like you're fed, you have three items. That's crazy, actually. But we need we need to back here. Um, we're able to get both of those, which is fantastic. We're gonna sell this. We're gonna get a long sword, two seventy five. Let's just wait here and get this, and head back. It's tricky, but again, we have two top. There's no point in getting this dragon. Um, Unless maybe I can help him fight uh, a Mordekaiser for that. And I don't... Where am I? There I am. 
Okay, looks like he died. Uh, we might be able to clean this up. What we can do is we can put a W down, right? Yeah, that was, uh, didn't really work out. We, he actually took like zero damage. He took three Shiryukens to the face. And he still didn't take any damage, which is crazy in my opinion. Right? Like how insane is that? Warren's pushing out mid when Teemo has like no HP. Uh, super weird, man. Like, come on, bro. Like, come down here. What are you saying? Get him. Get him. Come on, Orn. Like, you're giga-fed. What, you, what are you saying? Okay. Huge. He's dead. What? Okay. Looks like I just died to the, uh... AoE there. Kind of a bad flash. Kind of a bad play. Man, what is with that... They nerfed the shield? That was so bad. All right, well, you know, is what it is. Um, you could go Serpent's Fang to negate the sh 10 and 4. Come on, man. You're doing good against Mord. Now now we have a Mord problem, so... Uh, we see Nasher's 2, too? Like, that's super troll, man. Like, that's not even a good item on Mord. Unless you're, like, super far ahead and you fall off and... Super weird, but all right. I think it would be a mistake to get this item. Hmm. Lulu does have shields. I think, honestly, I think Serpent's Fang is good. Let's go Serpent's Fang. Lulu has shields. Mordekaiser has shield. We at least want to reduce it. We're going to go this way. Over here. There's nothing to fight for, so they shouldn't really be looking over there. To be doing anything too crazy. Also, I indicated that I am going to the bot side. Over here. Miss that. Weird. through very nice mords there they're doing an aram which is you know not something you want to get involved in um you know even though we have a strong lead on the teemo uh you can see that is really not amounting to much uh fighting with zed inside of a team fight is pretty tricky especially when they have like a polymorph like a lulu uh and there we go there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, she burned her ability. That's great. Nice. You can see the Shiryuken spinning on her, so she just dies. I didn't really have to do anything else except just avoid, you know, her healing, right? So I didn't want to proc have her proccing a vital on me. Uh, looks like they won that team fight, which is really good. Able to push up here. Timo looks like he's doing his own pushing. Just gonna get in between the wave here, let the minions do their thing. Looks like we're gonna get an inhibitor and we're gonna get a tier two, which is very nice. That's gonna be great. Um, gold for us. I think it's probably like, what, 675, something like that. We're gonna see. 675, look at that, beautiful. Gold in our pocket right there. We're gonna be able to hit this a couple times, no problem. Looks like they're preoccupied with catching the wave. We don't wanna burn W. Okay. E over. Looks like we're trolling. Oh. We messed up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we greeted for the tower. Obviously a mistake. You can look at that in hindsight and be like, oh, if I just committed to the tower. Yeah, if I committed to the tower, we would have got it. So, um, yeah, that's what you call mistakes. So... We didn't end up getting the tower, but we did get it pretty down. Um, is it worth? Absolutely not. Uh, we should have valued our life, but uh, you know what? Shit happens. Looks like Cogna's scaling. He got ran down. Good flash from the Lucian. Um, yeah. Okay. Next item. What do we want? What do we want that we think that would be good? I'm wondering how much shield. No, I didn't re Oh, yeah, because I just bought the item. I mean, 60 AD. What's the passive? Move speed's pretty good, too. I don't know. We'll get a longsword. You know, GA might not even be bad, either. 
Lucian's going bot side for Lord knows, I don't know why. We have 30 seconds to dragon. Um, they have three, so we should really be thinking about getting this. Lucian is just, I don't know what he's doing. Should have went mid to catch the wave with Seraphine, but that is okay. Timo's gonna be around. I don't even want to worry about the wave, to be honest. Okay. Nope. Just gonna back off. I don't want to step on these shrooms. He's gonna. He's gonna. Yeah, he's dead. We missed everything. I'm gonna back off. I think I'm just. Yeah, dead again. That's. He's just pressing R on me every single time. I can't do anything about it. Oh, man, I missed all of my cues. Every single one, and now they get soul. So. Basically, I just should have been more patient on that, and then we would have been fine, but unfortunately, I uh, was not patient, and what happened is uh, I died. If we played slow, we could have waited until they committed to save that, but unfortunately, we didn't. Um, Silas was antsy, that caused me to be antsy. And, uh, yeah, my placements on my W were also pretty bad. Um, my ult placement was bad, my shadow, basically just shadow placements in general were just bad, so... Yeah, they caught the wave, uh, and they have Cloud Soul, which is bad. Looks like they're going bot side, which is for whatever fucking reason, I don't know. Seraphine is going mid. I, again, don't know why supports are not doing supporting, but, you know, hey, guess what? It's League of Legends. Look at that, there's a TP there. What? What happened? Oh, hey, Teemo. walk the path. Super weird. Double Q, he's dead. I don't really like how Ornhat took that, but I mean, we're still pretty fed, so. Is what it is. Are you gonna give me an item? Like, finally? Hubris. Does this give me bonus? I don't know about that. I don't really know what you want there, bud. Like, I have nothing. Just get lethality and go back. Most of our HP back, that's fine. Oh, hey, Kogma. Okay, see? That's what you should have been doing this whole time. Okay, that's great for us. We can flash. Got Lulu, easy. Love that, that's easy. That's great, good team fight. Finally, the orange decides to hang out with us. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, so we don't need we don't need to hit, hit this as uh, Zed. You know, you, you don't take objectives very fast. Uh, their whole team is dead. They're well. Most of our team is dead. The jungler is dead, so we don't really need to do anything. Um, we do have a red buff, which is super nice. We're able to push the wave in where we can create pressure. Here we go. He died. We're gonna we're gonna get this nice and easy peasy right here. If somebody walks up, we can probably just kill them. Okay. Okay, he flashed. That's actually huge. Unfortunately, we did step on. Um, I don't even th think. There's a Fiora, okay. I want to fight 2v1 because you get polymorphed and it's like, you know, GG's, right? This galaxy needs. A little sweep here, see if there's anything going. Your Contempt for the Weak passive does um, go on uh, jungle camps, in case you didn't know. So, once they're below half HP, they're really easy to take. Uh, we have two minutes till there. Orin is splitting topside, so that's great for us. Just gonna keep shoving the wave out. What's going on here? I don't see Mordekaiser. There he is. I wanna stay away from him, honestly. I wanna wait for Silas to deal with him. 
Look at that. That's beautiful. But he are the. There she, yeah, you're dead. Really easy to clean that up. Okay, we can't do anything there. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Okay, that's th game. Silas, you know there are other people's alts to steal and other people to alt. No, what well, he's doing the exact thing he should be doing. Seven seconds on our alt. We can definitely kill Fiora, no problem. She's gonna be like, what? That was free. Okay, cool. Got our alt. Alt the Teemo. Look back. E. Dead. Very nice. Oh, now the Maw has a big shield. <laughs> Can't believe how bad that was. Anyway. Yeah, I hope you guys learned something about playing a little bit of Zed. That was a pretty good uh, game. And uh, yeah, there you go. If you think I missed something, you can reach out to me in the comments. And if you think you're better than me at League, feel free to let me know just how much better you are. For more gameplay commentaries and beginner guides, you can head on over to my channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cats, Kai, Jinx, and Rin. Have a wonderful day, and as always, thank you for watching.